There's a time for living The time keeps on flying Think you're loving, baby And all you're doing is crying Can you feel? Ah, those feelings real Look at your game, girl Look at your game, girl Notes from the Contributor, Almond Joy. I was working the Dateline Georgia Sting when John Adam Daniels found my 13-year-old decoy persona, Nina, in a regional Georgia Yahoo chat room. He was full of compliments for Nina, and despite the fact that he said he was 12 years older than her stated age of 13, he made his intentions clear. He tried to impress her by showing his penis on webcam. I can certainly say that my spouse was not impressed when he got an accidental glimpse when my soon-to-be patented penis shield slipped off the monitor during evidence collection. Daniels was quite persistent. Despite a Yahoo outage on Saturday during the sting, the conversation was continued over text messaging via his cell phone, and after his arrest, it was discovered that he had his mother look up the directions to the girls' home and write them down for him. He cleverly told her that he was going to a job to build cabinets. Not so clever, after his employer saw him on Dateline wearing a hat with their logo on it. He quickly became a former employee. Daniels was the recipient of the Harris County Special. He received 10 years in the Georgia DOC for attempted child molestation, a minimum of 5 to be served along with 10 years probation for attempted statutory rape to be served consecutively. That means that he will serve 20 years of probation after he serves 5 years in the Georgia prison system. He will also have to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. He has several special provisions attached to his probation, including no contact with minors, either through his job or volunteer activities. He cannot reside with a minor, including his own children, if he ever has any, unless his PO gives him special permission. He cannot possess any kind of images of minors or any sexually oriented materials, even of adults. He cannot call 900 sex lines or go to any places that allow access to sexually stimulating material. He cannot hitchhike or pick up any hitchhikers, nor drink or use drugs, and will be subject to a drug test at any time. He cannot use the internet in any way. He can never rent a post office box without express written consent from his PO. He must also keep a log of everywhere he drives and make it available at all times for inspection. As part of his RSO, he must actively participate in a child abuser slash sex offender counseling program approved by his PO and the court at his expense. He will remember his date with Chris Hansen for a large part of his life, and at least there was not a real Nina that will remember her date with John Adam Daniels for her entire life. So that was the words of the original decoy, the original person who sat down and had the conversation that we're about to analyze right now. John Adam Daniels is there's got to be some he must have some kind of disability because on the show he, he he famously tells the decoy that he bought a dwink and some kit kats and he not only does he have this speech impediment he like does this this thing where he fucking arches his head up and uh he he, he just makes this hilarious gesture as soon as he has his interaction with chris so without any further ado let's see if we can analyze this fucker's chat log and see if we can learn a little bit more about the, the fucking the man the myth uh john adam daniels so one of the first things we have to analyze is his fucking ridiculous screen name he must have put this on here because he was obviously lonely which in and of itself is pretty sad but instead of using the internet to like fucking make friends he was talking to minors so i don't really feel feel that bad for him and then what is that Lil, little, like Lil, like Lil Kim back in the day? It's like Lil Nina Bell. Okay. And that's the deep. There's nothing really that stands out about Lil Nina Bell. That's, that's a good, a good screen name just to, to trap up these fucking predators. Okay. So, <laughs> hi. Hi. And then he just says, question mark. I said hi. Damn. So she's already coming at him with this aggressive fucking role. She's like, I said hi, motherfucker. Where in Georgia are you from? Southwest. So SW must mean Southwest. You? Southwest. 
beam bridge here and i'm gonna do the speech impediment throughout this guy has this actual speech impediment so if you haven't seen the footage that's why i'm gonna fuck it i'm gonna try my best to imitate the way this fucker sounds near columbus cool what what town <laughs> cool what town if you don't mind me asking a uh, little town near columbus okay how old are you uh 13 you oh little older than you 25 yeah, he's a lot, a lot more than a little older. You're, you're far older, so obviously you are aware of the age difference right away, and you don't give a flying fuck. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, and then I guess that's his justification. So because the person who's not even equipped with the ability to make the decision has proved it, it's okay. This guy's an immature fucking idiot to even ask that question. Um. I mean, the answer is invalid just because the person isn't even aware. They're not even a fucking adult. They're not capable of making the decision of whether it's okay or not. That's why they're a minor. So it's like he does that just to assuage his own guilt, just to say, oh, I'm not doing anything that bad. Like, you know, she consented, which, of course, is bullshit because minors can't consent. So, uh, cool. Uh, cool. You must want an older man. What the fuck we give him that impression? That's just his, that he's just projecting his desires there. Just someone with a good job that can take care of me. Excellent angle from the decoy. Uh, this guy is a carpenter. So as we could see from the fucking hilarious introduction that he was a carpenter um, and that he lied to his mom about going to the job, he must have had a decent job. Well, it, keyword had, right? He was eventually fired. But at one point, it must have been a decent job. So already the decoy is kind of setting him up for the kind of angle that she's going to give him. She's going to, she might, I predict just from that, that she's going to give him like the, oh, I come from a shitty home. I want to, I want to find someone to like take care of me. Um, that would be an effective, effective move that the decoy would use against him. Uh, cool. What would your mom and dad do? My dad lives in WA. Is that like Washington or Wyoming? I don't know where the fuck WA is. And mom don't care. Oh, that's exactly. So she's going with the fucking, um, what is it? Zoe Mob called it like the broken wing. And that's exactly what this is. Um, the decoy is playing the broken wing role where she comes from the shitty home and no one is paying attention to her. And, uh, you know, she's almost setting it up like she, she needs to be rescued. That's probably the angle that she wants the, the predators to fucking assume, which is great, which is fucking great. Um, well, cool. I would like to meet you. Of course. So this fucker doesn't waste any time and just immediately jumping right into trying to, to meet the person. He is one of the types to not even care what the person looks like. I think just because this guy has, he must have some kind of disability or something. So it's like any woman who's going to give him time of day, he's probably going to just jump the opportunity to, to be with. He probably is really lonely if he has some kind of, uh, some kind of thing that prevents him. He might be like, like the early version of like an incel for all we fucking know. Some of these guys, uh, the, the word wasn't really popular back then, back in the mid two thousands, but now it's like, um, people are saying like 2020 is going to be like, the, this is going to be the decade of like where, where incel dub becomes like this huge social issue. Uh, I don't think that that'll happen. I, I doubt it, but, um, that's what, that's what some people say. Hey, people say some things, man. So cool. I would like to meet you. Okay. For reals? Yeah. Why? Excellent question. Why? She's like, dude, I've given you no fucking reason to, to want to meet me yet. I go, I just would like to. Okay, so this guy obviously can't spell. Okay. Would you? Maybe. <laughs> so she's already playing like kind of hard to get. Good good strategy too. Um, She might not want to make it too easy for him. That would make it seem like it was a setup. So she's going to play the game a little bit. And he wants to play the game. Cool. Smiley face. What kind of guy you want? <laughs> a nice one. <laughs> Are you nice? Yes. Cool. I like how that's the verification. Are you nice? Yes. Okay, great. I just now. Okay, so now there's no fucking end. There's no doubt. There's no chance that you could not be nice. That's the weakest attempt at verification that a person could fucking do. There's nothing that you're going to learn from that. Cool. Are you far from me? Yep. You look hot and you pick. Okay. Okay. 
So, of course, he's just going to immediately jump to, like, saying that she's hot. He's making it very clear that he's interested in that he's looking at her in a sexual way. So he's not wasting any time to have her think that maybe he just wants to meet for friendship. He's just immediately getting to the point. I guess he's he's got a lot of fucking cabinets to build. He can't be wasting time uh, with any fucking bullshit chats that aren't going to go anywhere. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. You got a pick? How far? Yes. Oh, so he doesn't have a picture of himself. So he must have like a logo for some like fucking for some sports team or something. Yeah, and that makes sense too. This guy looks there's something very wrong with him. He he has he must have some kind of disability or something. And he just looks uh he looks like someone who doesn't give a shit. He just looks like a uh like someone who sits at home in their basement a lot. Someone who doesn't really go out and see the light of day very much. I don't know. I don't know where Bainbridge is. Is it that far from Columbus? It's about two hours. Okay. Is that too far? No. Cool. I would like to... I would not get in... <laughs> I would not get into trouble. Is that? He's not even asking a question. He's just like fucking saying, <laughs> I would not get into trouble. Would I? <laughs> Why would you get in trouble? Because I'm 25 and you're 13. <laughs> exactly, dude. Yeah. Well, and... I think you'd get in trouble because law enforcement would be there, right? This is just setting setting yourself up for 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 the crime, but um, you know, you would get in trouble if this was a sting, and that's exactly what it was. So, lol. Okay. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. <laughs> okay. I stutters. Is that okay? Okay. And. I'm not gonna, I would never talk shit or make fun of someone who had like a disability just for the fucking sake of it. Like, I'm not just gonna be a dick to people. But I think when you're a predator, you lose the right to, you lose the right to be protected for certain things. So I don't give a fuck about making fun of this guy for his stutter or for the funny ass way that he talks or for doinks and Kit Kats. He is a piece of shit and I don't think he deserves any sympathy from anyone. But other people who stutter, yeah, that that would suck. And it would suck to be able to um it would suck to have to fucking tell people that you meet online. But I think if you were if you were cool enough and you had a good enough connection online, the person probably wouldn't care, you know, if you met someone um yeah, in real life, I mean. I stutter, is that okay? Okay. Cool. What are you looking for, BF or what are you looking for? BF or husband or what? Someone nice that can take care of me. Okay, cool. I be whatever you want. <laughs> cool. Yep. And then kissy face. I'm bored. Me too. There's not much substance going on already. When you want to meet. I don't know. Okay. What you want to do when we meet. What you want to do when we meet. What you want to do when we meet? <laughs> Soon. What you want to do, though? <laughs> anything. Anything you want to do. Oh, that's like Henry Guzman. Anything you want to do. <laughs> Only Henry Guzman had fucking game. This guy doesn't have any fucking game. At least, I mean, Henry Guzman had like his fucking, like, he had the Mustang and the Hennessy and shit. Like, he wasn't fucking around. This guy is, has zero self-confidence, though, obviously. So, anything you want to do. Anything you want to do. You want to meet Saturday? I don't know. What you want to do? Go out and eat and movie? That's boring. Okay, you to fool around some? Okay. (laughs) If you want to, that is. So a lot of these fuckers will make the attempt to have some kind of like bullshit consent. So they'll say like, oh, I'm only going to do it if you want to. But as I've already said, you can't consent if you're a minor so they only do that to maybe make themselves feel better or to give the illusion that they care about the decoys uh, feelings if you're cute and nice to me i have a pic okay can you email me yes <laughs> little nina bell at yahoo.com oh damn she didn't got any fucking numbers see this is back in the day when you could just have a fucking email address uh, without any numbers my email address does have any numbers generic uh, hispanic mail at gmail.com fucking message fast eddie if you want to i love hearing from everybody so need a friend uh okay i will hang on okay hang on i have a webcam (laughs) i have a webcam you have a webcam 
Dude, you gotta you need a can opener for that webcam. Cam. Okay. You're cute. <laughs> Thank you. Have you ever seen a man's dick? Wow, that is very fucking blunt phrasing. Jeez. What what a fucking transition. That's like a clunky transition into the whole like sexting thing. <laughs> Not in person. Oh, okay. What size bra you wear? 32A. Cool. If we do like each other, would you want me to be your man for always? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I like how he's already willing to make this agreement uh, without ever having met the person. He knows fucking nothing about her. And he's already willing to like fucking pledge his life to someone. If you want to make sure that no one is going to want to date you, come off as extremely desperate and extremely clingy. There's like, there's very few things that will frighten a person or at least someone of, of like, of sound, you know, it's, it's not something that people typically like. Like if you meet someone and immediately before they know anything about you, they're already obsessed with you. That's probably a fucking bad sign that you should probably not, uh, pursue anything further with that person. Sure. Cool. You have a cell phone? No, I wish. Do you? Yes. Would you like me to move in? <laughs> Would you like to move in with me if we hook up? Wow, so not only is he content with being together forever, I guess he wants to like fucking live together. He's gonna join. Oh, well, you can't even join bank accounts. She's like fucking a minor, you idiot. Maybe that. Okay, that's so she, she's unsure. So she would she respond to this one? Sure. So she's willing to spend the rest of her life with them. If we do like each other, would you want me to be your man for always? So she's willing to spend the rest of her life there. And he says, uh, would you like to move in with me if we hook up? She's all, maybe. So I guess I don't know the, the the hierarchy of priorities, but it's like, it seems like living with someone is less serious than this like commitment to spend the rest of your life together. Well, unless you don't give a shit about the commitment, right? You could just be like, yeah, sure, whatever. But if, if you were to take the commitment at face value, I think the commitment would be more serious than just moving. You could just bounce with someone if you lived with someone, especially if you weren't on the fucking lease or anything. Like, and the decoy obviously wouldn't, um, also that's interesting. He must not have a, he must not have his own place or I don't know if he does, if he, if he does have his own place, why is his mom helping him with fucking directions? Like, doesn't he have anyone else? It makes sense if you live with your parents and you're like, Hey mom, help me with this. Does he live on his own? And he fucking like went to go visit his mom's house to ask her for, for help in this endeavor. Okay. You going to be online tomorrow? Yeah. I will. Add me? You can too. Okay. I can't wait to talk to you again. <laughs> me too. <laughs> you seem really nice. So do you. Thank you. You must look like, you must like looking at my, and then he doesn't say anything. Huh? Your cam stopped. <laughs> oh, she must have shut it off. He must have been showing him the pictures of his dick. That must have been it. And there's no commentary on here. I tried to turn on and didn't see it. So fuck you must like looking at my dot 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 huh your cam stopped you must have been in love with the way i look yeah dude that's exactly it how did you know she, she's how could she resist john adam daniels he's a fucking male model right what's your name i'm nina adam hi adam hi nina it is nice to meet you you too what does your body look like? It doesn't matter according to this guy anyways. So, I mean, I don't know why you're even fucking asking at this point. Also, dude, um, there are pictures of her. It's like, can you make an inference based off of the pictures that are on the, the profile of the decoy? I got booted. Sorry. You there? It is okay. What does your body look like? I'm 4'11", 100 pounds. That's hella tiny, so I guess, yeah, so they're they're going for the very small, undoubtedly um, young angle, so he's probably going to go right fucking into that. That's fucking disgusting, too, dude. That's, that's, that's not, that's not cool. Cool. Do you have a nice ass? I guess. <laughs> she doesn't know. She's like, I don't fucking know, dude. It's, it's just my ass. Like, I, I sit on it all the time. Oh, okay. To her. <laughs> what the fuck is this? To her. To her. To her. That's like Cobb Feffy. That's up there is insofar as like it's extremely incoherent. It's like Trump's fucking Cobb Feffy tweet. To her too? Oh, 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 okay. Are you there? Yes, baby. 
bold move. So we're only a few fucking lines in, and he's already jumping onto the uh, the baby, the baby line. Are you invisible or something? Yes. He's fucking invisible. Uh, what do you mean? So he just must be hidden online. That's funny though. Just imagine him like he just like immediately has invisibility powers. Like if if you had invisibility powers and you spent your time fucking chatting with people online. Oh, I'm looking. I'm looking at your pic on MySpace, and you have a nice looking body. Yeah, fucker. If you're if you're looking, then why are you asking? The person is not even gonna have. She's not gonna fucking know. Thank you. You're welcome. I can't wait to be with you. Me too. <laughs> you seem nice. That's one of the only redeeming things that she could... Uh, I mean, it's not true. I, I I don't think it's true. But it's like, it's one of the few generic redeeming things that you could say to someone. Just be like, oh, you're nice. <laughs> and then it's like, people will like... Uh, it's it's just a, one of... It's a generic, uh, non-unique thing that you could say to someone. that's like a compliment. Thank you. Are you in love with the way I look? Why do you keep saying that, dude? Are you in love with the way that I look? What does that even mean to be in love with the way that you look? How are you in love? I mean, I don't think that it works like that. I think that this word, right? This word is supposed to be independent of uh, the way that you look. I don't think that it's possible to be in love with the way that someone looks, at least if we're to take the definition of love um, being like this extreme qualitative um, commitment and feeling um because the looks is obviously like passion that's like fleeting so that doesn't do not that it matters just to just if we're actually gonna look at this sentence but he's a fucking retard so he probably doesn't even understand yeah smiley face i love the way that you look do you like horror movies what the fuck she brought that up i love horror movies holy shit if some chick brought up horror movies to me, I would be fucking, I would have my mind blown. Um, that tends to not happen. Most chicks um, that I talk to don't like horror movies. I fucking love horror movies. Man, I watch horror movies fucking all the time. I think I'm just really, um, really fascinated. I just like them. There's something about um, like, like the scariness almost. I don't get scared that often, but it's like, I like the tension in films, like the tension in like horror movies. I think some of my favorites are like The Descent pandorum fuck i don't know like the hills have eyes like scary like kind of like monster movies but like not campy like jokey monster movies like real like real shit scary movies if you were watching them alone i love okay yeah she's like yeah dude sure sure i fucking love the way you look whatever you want smiley face i love the way you look do you like horror movies (laughs) yes why you want to take a quiz i just took <laughs> is this so shitty i'll like uh like like what's your favorite horror movie? like what horror movie are you i can't not tonight baby <laughs> it's fast poo i know dude what do you think it's some fucking like calculus exam dude it's gonna be like a five question fucking online shitty quiz where it's like the answers are like oh like do you like cheesecake or fucking chocolate ice cream it's gonna be like that kind of shit okay it said I was the first to die. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Edited. <laughs> Tell me what it says about you. <laughs> Damn, so she's already talking. That's pretty dark. So um, in the context of that, she's like, yeah, it's saying that, that I'm likely to die. It's pretty funny that in the context, she's talking to a stranger online. So she might be kind of like, uh, she might be trying to segue into talking about the da- the dangers of the internet. Okay. You want to become BF and GF? Yeah, you take it. So she's like, dude, what did the fucking quiz say? Like, tell me your fucking horror. Your, your, tell me, or I guess what order you die. Tell me what order you die in. And he just wants to go back to the um, explicit, like, declarations of commitment. Like, I'll be with you no matter what, babe. I'll be with you despite your stutter. Yes, baby. What are you doing? <laughs> you are a follower. <laughs> You are nervous that things will go badly. Oh, okay. So he's reading the results. He's reading the results. I thought he was like calling her a follower. I was like, holy shit. This dude is fucking like just big bold. Like, hey, fuck you, decoy. You're, you're not an individual. Like you're a follower. <laughs> holy shit. Okay. You are a follower. You are nervous that things will go badly, but your significant other or your best friend usually convince you that everything will turn out okay. And for you, they do. Although badly beaten with possibly a few limbs missing, you survive. I guess being so naive pays off. That doesn't even make any sense. That's the stupidest fucking lamest quiz I've ever seen in my life. And I've taken some shitty quizzes, man. That is what is, that is what the test said. 
yeah yeah you're not the killer <laughs> yep are you happy about that one day <laughs> what are you talking about is she like is that the fucking the test that she's gonna use to see if you would actually like harm her irl baby yeah <laughs> i don't want to kill her <laughs> all right yeah i don't want to kill her <laughs> cool nina i want never kill you <laughs> Good. <laughs> she responds, good. <laughs> Nina, I will never kill you. Why would you even say that? It's like, that's not even going to be an effective fucking way to calm the decoy down. What you're joking about could easily happen. It, it often does happen online. So I guess joking, uh, he's not, only he's not joking about it exactly. If I was talking to someone online and they were like, oh, how do I know you're not a killer? I think I would joke about it and be like, oh, that's, 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 that's not the case. But um, yeah, at the same time, it could be. You could. I, I never trust what anyone's... Maybe it's because I do shit like this, right? Like I do chat log analysis videos. I fucking never trust anyone online. Like, uh, you know, the, uh, the internet is truly a place where people can say and do anything. And I think everyone needs to fucking remember that. No matter who you think you're talking to online, man. Nina, I want never kill you. Good. Oh my god. Lol. What baby? That would sucks. <laughs> that would suck if you killed me. You know, this, I've reflected a lot on like fear of death and like what it's going to be like when we die. I don't believe in heaven and hell. I've said before, I, I don't believe in anything. I'm, I'm like an atheist when it comes to that. But I take comfort in knowing that I've been in a state of non-existence before. That before I was born, I was in a state of non-existence. And I don't recall it being particularly bad. So if when I die, um, I inevitably return to that same state of non-existence, like it's not going to be fucking bad because like it's non-existence. You're not even there. It didn't suck to not. It, it didn't suck before I was born. I'll say that. So why would it suck uh, after you're fucking born? I want if I do anything to you, my big dick may hurt going into your little pussy. It may hurt like a fucking gigahertz. <laughs> how many how many gigahertz does your dick have, dude? Um, yeah, that's pretty disgusting too. And then he says little, of course, because he's talking to someone who's a fucking minor. Um, he, he must really enjoy that too. This, this, this is a sick guy. And then she does this smiley face. It's crazy that the decoys, um, people will say predators say ridiculous things online to them like this. And they just respond like that. All that's all they can do is respond like that. They have to convince these guys that, that they're fucking interested. You like that baby? Yeah. You want me near <laughs> you want me to wear a condom? I don't want to get preg. I pull it out before I shoot coming you. <laughs> okay. I like how that he's already making agreements to this, so like they've talked about fucking like nothing and he's already just trying to, He must be so insecure that he just wants all these like commitments up front. He wants her to like agree to all this shit so when they meet in real life, like there's nothing left open to question. He'll be like, oh, but you already agreed. Like, you already agreed. So he wants you to agree to fucking the world. Because when she sees him in real life, she's not going to want to. He, he he probably wants to use the, oh, well, we already talked about it. So we might as well. He'd love to use that because he's like a fucking mutant. If you want to, I shoot it on your body. Okay. You want to do anal? I've never done that. <laughs> Yeah, so um, everyone, most of the predators just jump to, like, ass sex, too. Uh, they're not content with just, like, trying to take the decoy's virginity or just, like, you know, have sex with them. Like, they want to, like, do them in the ass and they want to, like, do all this bullshit. They want to, like, take pictures of it. So this guy, it makes, I'm not surprised in particular that he brings up um, trying to put it in the decoy's ass. That's par for the course for these fuckers. I've never done that. Have you ever had sex? No. Is that okay? <laughs> is that all right? No, is that okay? Yes. Can I eat your pussy? Okay, sure. You want to suck my dick? He just keeps going, what, dude, you just want her to agree to everything. He's so insecure that he just wants the decoy up front to agree to all this fucking bullshit. All, all his sexual whims so that there's nothing to debate or discuss once they actually meet in real life. Sure. Okay. When can we? You want to come see me this weekend? Sure. You said son, right? 
No, sad. He's all, no, bitch. I said Saturday. <laughs> okay. You got a nice car? <laughs> but I can, son. It does not matter what day would be good for you. Since it's so far, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I have a twuck, baby. <laughs> He's like, I got a twuck, baby. Do you have a nice car? <laughs> I like how he doesn't even add. That's an ad So that's fucking excellent, right? She's like, do you have a nice car? And he doesn't even have to respond yes. Instead of saying yes or no, he just goes, I have a truck. Not saying whether it's a... he. I mean, the question that she asked specifically was, do you have a nice car? So instead of a yes or no answer, he just says, I have a truck and ambiguously leaves it open as to whether it's nice or not. Of course, it's not fucking nice. The thing's probably a piece of shit. But um, yeah, so at least he's clever in that dimension. Cool. Oh, shit. Kayla, cool. That's the classic. This is the classic fucking decoy line right there. If someone says that online, you know that you're talking to a decoy. What kind? 1996 Nissan. I love trucks. Yeah, of course you do. Trying to get a 2005 Ford F-250 diesel. That must have been hell expensive back in the day, dude. That that would not have been a cheap fucking truck. Diesel. Cool. What color is it? My favorite color is black. Red. Cool. I like red too. Cool. What you have on tonight, baby? That's a fucking weird way to ask what the person's wearing. Like, what ye, what have you on tonight? That's just strange. You could have just asked, like, fucking, what are you wearing? <laughs> what, you, you gonna be on chat tomorrow? <laughs> yes. What the fuck? You gonna be on chat tomorrow? Yes. Shorts and a tank top. Cool. Cool. What time are you going to be online? At night or day? Night. He can't leave anything to chance. He wants to know explicitly beforehand. He wants like fucking agreements and like assurances that everything is going to go according to plan. And that reflects um, scarcity. Uh, Jordan Peterson was talking about this. When you have a lot of money, um, you're, even when you're financially sound, not, not particularly when you're rich, but when you have your needs met financially, you live uh, physiologically like your health becomes better like you're less likely to get sick your immune system will function better if all of your sight if all of your financial needs are met if you're not worrying about that it kind of sucks that like a thing like worry can can undermine your physical health but it's like if a person doesn't have money if they if they are the opposite of that if they are struggling a lot it's like they're in a they're in a mode of scarcity so things are not going well and because they're at the bottom, basically, because you don't have a lot of money. I've fucking been there a lot. It's like, because you don't have a lot of money, um, things haven't worked out for you so far. So when anything new happens, like, you expect it to go shitty. Um, just because you're on the edge. It's like, you don't have a lot of fucking resources. So, but that that's that reflects scarcity. Um, and although this isn't dealing with money, he obviously is not successful with women. So... He has a scarcity in that aspect. So it's like he needs to make sure that he can do everything he can to try and, uh, you know, convince this person, this minor, that uh, he is the one who's going to be her boyfriend and they're going to eventually get married. And he has to do everything he can to try and, like, lock this fucking hypothetical person down. Um, night. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I will. Cool. You happy I'm your man? Yep. Are you happy I'm your girl? Yep. I wish you were here. I wish we were together tonight. Do you? Me too. Would you sleep in the same bed as me? Well, probably, dude. I mean, and you're the fucking you're the you're the one who would probably do the convincing, so you would probably push for that anyways if he would have had this happen. I'm gonna have to go soon. <laughs> She's like, "Well, I'm gonna have to fucking bounce. I'm gonna have to bounce." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, "I'm gonna have to go, dude." But yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's fucking great. Me too. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's like, me too. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I got a lot going on too. I got to <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about? You don't have to fucking go anywhere. That's a lie. He's just trying to make it look like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I got other places to be too. It's like, bullshit, dude. No, you don't. Okay, baby. I love you. Good night. Sweet dreams. And he wastes no time in jumping to the I love you bullshit. Um, it's just an attempt to express this this commitment that he wants to be known he's trying to say hey i'm really really committed to the if you are he's that's what he's trying to communicate hey i, I have serious intent and uh whether he did or not we'll never know but the intent was evil that's what we do fucking know night night 
kiss face bye love <laughs> and then hi of course he talks he, he responds first so when is that 718 so at 9 55 he's like okay good night and then the next morning um oh this isn't the next this is the next evening nonetheless he's the one who reaches out first the next evening um that's about an appropriate amount of time to wait obviously what he's doing is inappropriate but it's like for anyone else like a day is is i think a decent like 24 hours is decent to um contact someone hi hey how have you been today baby <laughs> damn he's just right into baby so he's not hey he makes no bones about about his motivations okay you the same same but it sounds like I'm about to get some rain. It sounds like there's going to be some rain. It sounds like, what do you mean it sounds like I'm about to get some rain? That makes it sound like he's fucking so goddamn tall. That like, uh, you know, he's like like hundreds of thousands of feet tall. Like uh, he's up at the clouds. <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to get some rain just because like my head is, you know, up at the level of clouds. Cool. I love rain. Me too. I like to work in it. Oh, wow. I don't really like to work in the rain too much, man. That's not, that's, hey, like Jim Rush said, that, that's not me. Um, I could see how a person could like it. I like the sound of rain and whatnot, but um, I'm not hyped on working in rain. I fucking have done it enough, man. I guess it's not that cool when you've done it when you don't want it, when it's cold as fuck outside. And then you're wet as fuck and everything. It's not cool. Yeah, if, if you're, you're working in the rain and you don't want to be. You still want to come see me, Sat? Yes, if you want me to. I do. Okay, cool. You've been thinking about me? <laughs> yeah, have you? Yes. Cool, what about? What a 13-year-old girl like in me, and I can't believe she is all mine. You fucking bastard. It's lines like that that speak so clearly towards his lack of remorse. Um, he's obviously gleeful to, to have a, a minor, a 13-year-old. Um, he mentions it multiple times, so he's saying... I'm glad, and he, he wants to know, like, what's so good about him that he has this 13-year-old girl, and he touts that like it's some fucking, some good thing. How about you? About? Same, wonder why you like me. Yeah, me too. It's probably not so much why he likes you as much as it is he's just extremely desperate, and any, any, <laughs> any human female, maybe even females of another species, we don't know, but any human female he's gonna give attention to, like, he's gonna put all his eggs in that basket. Because it doesn't, it's scarce. It doesn't come along often for him. You hot and you seem to be very nice. <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> Returned smiley face. What you see in me? <laughs> You're nice to me. I like that. That's such a good question. Uh, I did the Henry Guzman phone conversation and he is famous for that. He, he like demands an answer. He's like, why me? Why, why me though? Why me? And eventually she's like, oh, you're cute. Like, you know, look at your face. And he's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's gotta be it. That's it. You know, it's like a confirmation bias. Uh, but this guy, he's not even going to do that. He's just going to immediately be like, okay, yeah, that works. Like, oh, you're nice. That, that, that works. He might assume that she is on the same level of desperation as him. Um, he might, he might assume that. Smiley face. Smiley face. You're nice to me. I like that. And I'm all so cute. I'm all so cute too, right? <laughs> like Orville Wright, like the fucking Wright brothers, <laughs> right? Yep. Smiley face. Did I make you la did I make you happy last night, sweetie? Yeah, you did. Baby, like I said last night, I want to do anything to hurt you. I will make you the happiest girl. You know, it's been really fucking hard to read this chat. This this fucker has the poorest fucking grasp of the English language. It's been extremely difficult to to like translate whatever the fuck uh John Adams speaks into coherent into semi coherent English, as coherent as I fucking am. Uh, which is not very coherent sometimes. Baby, like I said okay. Cool, I like that. All I want from you, all I want from you is a little loving and don't be a girl that wants to do everything the way you want to do things. I mean, going out on dates and stuff like that. What? All I want from you is a little loving. All I want from you is a little loving. So he wants a person who's, he wants a, a partner who's loving, okay? And don't be a girl that wants to do everything the way you want to do things. 
Uh, that's not really like a, a female thing in particular. Like there's just people who are like that. Um, I mean, you could say like, oh, don't be like a typical female. I don't really know. Um, this, it doesn't make sense in this context um, for him to just say, don't be a girl that wants everything the way you want it. Maybe he's basically like saying like, don't be a bitch. But I mean, maybe you don't have to fucking say it like that. Like, uh, and if a person was like that, then just that's, that's how they are, you know? Like if a person is bitchy, like if a, if a person's a bitch, like maybe that's just how they are. Why why change them? <laughs> why even try and change his fucking bounce, dude? But no, see, because he he doesn't even have the confidence to um to walk away. He he would probably stick around and just try and be like, oh here you need you need to change to meet my needs, you know. If this was an actual person, I mean, going out on dates and stuff like that. And dude, there's nothing wrong with going out on dates. You basically have to do that shit. Um. Or, I mean, at least it's really good. It's really good to, to go on dates and not. Jordan Peterson does say that you have to do it. He's like, hey, once a week, gotta have date night. I've never done that, but uh, then again, I'm, I'm, yeah, it makes sense. Okay. What kind of things do you like to do? I like to go fishing. <laughs> oh my God. I thought that said I like to go fisting. That's fucking horrible. Jesus Christ. I like to go fishing when I can. I like to go to the movies and hanging with friends and most of all being with my gf what about you being with your gf dude you don't have a gf unless you're just saying you and what do you mean most of all and most of all what the fuck what kind of things do you like to do i like to go fit so you're basically this person has now i guess said that they are a they are a decoy or that that they're his girlfriend but he is now willing to pledge all his time to this person god this guy has not a lot going for him, so he must not even miss the fucking time. What about you? Movies are cool. I like concerts and hanging out. <laughs> Never been fishing. Really? Damn. Especially considering that this took place in fucking Georgia. That seems common. I thought, like, everyone goes fucking fishing. Like, geez. At least maybe, like, if you... I mean, obviously, like, it's an American cultural thing, but, um... Yeah, I think it's really common to go fishing. I went fishing. I don't go fishing as an adult, but like I had been fishing like as as a kid. Cool. What kind of music you like? Corn. Papa Roach. System of a Down. <laughs> okay, so it's just like like that angsty fucking shit from like uh yeah this this is right around the fucking time oh six. I mean that stuff was kind of old even in oh six, but it wasn't that old in two thousand six. Cool. But I said, what kind of music? What the fuck? Dude, she just fucking listed the bands. <laughs> cool. What kind of music do you like? She Then she tells you bands. She's like, Corn, Papa Roach says. Dude, if you if you knew those bands, you would know that she's talking about. But yeah, but exactly. Like heavy rock, I guess. Like it, it'd be hard to categorize it um, specifically. But yeah, these are like rock bands from like the mid 2000s. Like um and System of Down especially was really that's probably one of the ones that endured the longest. They still had a they still have a pretty legit following. But he says, cool, but I said what kind of so he must not know what these fucking bands are if he's like he must just be like, What are you saying? Like a bitch, like give me an answer. Heavy. Cool. Damn this decoy. So this decoy's a heavy metal fucking horror movie aficionado. Like that's that's kind of a that's that's a very unique fucking um that's a unique character it's a unique angle for the decoy to use cool i l lesson to gust about what i this is i lesion that's like lesion but it's saying i lesion to gust about anything i don't know what the hell he says there i don't know if i have i don't know if i've heard very much heavy music yeah he obviously hasn't he doesn't even know what these fucking bands are what kind of movies do you like Horror and comedy. Cool. You? I like comedy and... What the shit? <laughs> oh, man. And he probably thinks he's clever. That's fucking very funny. So she says horror and comedy. And then and then, she, and then he responds, I like comedy, horror. So he just flips these two things. She said horror and comedy. He just, like, he flips them. This is comedy, horror. So he's basically mirroring exactly what she said. But it doesn't sound the same because he switched the fucking order of it. That's funny. I like comedy. Oh, okay. So, so there's more. There's more. There's more. So I like comedy, horror, and action. And I love war movies. Okay. So he likes war movies. Yeah. War movies are pretty good, dude. There's some fucking very good war movies out there.
um that's probably like that's like the equivalent of chick flicks like for for females i think the way that females generally are like down to watch chick flicks i think most men are down to watch uh fucking war movies at least in my in my personal experience obviously it's not like that all the time cool yup kiss face kiss have you ever heard of a tongue have you ever heard a have you ever had a tongue in your mouth when you kiss <laughs> yeah <laughs> cool baby i like looking at your pick you want to come over about seven sat night or earlier so she's just getting right to it she's like dude just fucking uh let, let's cut with the chit chat <laughs> you want to just come through and get arrested on daylight yes baby what you want all to do all this stuff we talked about cool yeah so that's that's a nice way to just be like hey yeah or whatever sexual bullshit you said the same but you want to have sex or not that part sure it's like whatever you want dude even though she's pretending to be a virgin right she's like yeah whatever <laughs> doesn't matter okay but where at my mom's gonna be gone cool you have any sis or brothers no okay what time will she be back sunday so there she is she's just getting him to come in she's like dude she's like we fucking rented this house in georgia for a few days like you gotta come in at this fucking window it's gotta be this time like 4 p.m like 4 30 <laughs> that's the, the some of them are very specific too they're like all right come through at like 4 45 p.m like don't be late <laughs> you know because someone else will be arriving at five they don't want him to fucking see each other cool you're going to want me to stay the night? <laughs> if you want to. Damn, just invites himself. That's not cool, dude. Why are you going to fucking do that? Don't invite yourself. That's just bad form. If you want to. Baby, it's your choice too. Cool. Yeah. What time Sunday will she be back? Like 11. Okay. Maybe you can... Maybe you can come over earlier. Yep. What time is she leaving or so you know? Like 12. Okay. You must either be horny now or I... Kn what the fuck? You must either be horny now or really want me there with you. Um, I'm lonely. Oh, man. Broken wing. Exactly. So it, it comes back and it, it fucking manifests. So she basically just comes in and it's very clear right there. Like, <laughs> I'm lonely. Okay. Okay. Baby, if you want me there, I will be there cool i'd like that all you have to is ask my all you have to is ask my what the all you have to is ask have to what it's oh my god h-a-v-e this dude's spelling and grammar is so fucked and then like funky ass smiley face can I call you? <laughs> can I verify that you're actually who you say you are so so I can check your fucking uh, ID picture and whatnot? Not now, baby. My phone is died. <laughs> My phone's died. Oh, oh, poop. I'm sorry. Does your mom work at night? No, she's gone to the store. Oh, okay. I just wanted to hear your voice, sad face. Hang on, what's your number, baby? Let me call you so she doesn't see to number on her caller ID. She's like, no, dude, give me your number. I'll, I'll fucking hit you up. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. But would it be long? <laughs> what the? But would it be a long distance? I don't know how you get. So this is just an example. If you haven't been paying attention like to the fucking words that he types, like, but what it be a long and then destin destin call i did like long distance call but it's like where do you get destin from distance this isn't auto correct because that's not like that's not even a word <laughs> i don't even understand like this dude's grasp of the english language like does he hear words like this it's crazy to reflect on cool i got a calling card okay my number is 299-254-3237. Whoa, they usually blur that shit out in fucking interrogation videos. They put that shit on blast. It's got to be defunct now, but damn, people were fucking probably blowing this full up back in the day, like right when it dropped. Okay. Kiss face. Kiss face. You sound very hot on the phone, baby. 
Thank you. You do too. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, X face, kiss face. And wink face. You love me? <laughs> you, of course. No, 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 that's him. You love me? I think so. So you want, so you want to come up about 11? <laughs> She's like, yeah, you got to come at this certain, you want to come up at about 1? It's got to be 1 p.m. Don't, not 1.30, not fucking 12.30. Like, come at 1. Me too, baby. Yes, baby. Cool. Yup. You going to wear a skirt for me, baby? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that's like her fucking catchphrase. Like, yeah, just whatever you want, dude. Sure. Okay. We better make it 1.30 in case my mom arrives late. Someone must have fucking changed their mind at the last minute. That's funny. So she's like, how? She's like, what, you want to do one? And then maybe someone else, she's like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, like, Lee Greer is coming here at one. She's like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, hey, do you want to do 1.30? Uh, we better, and she doesn't even ask. She just says, we better make it 1.30 in case mom leaves late. So she's telling, and that's a good, that's a good reason. She gives good justification for why she's changing it. She's like, in case mom, dude, you know, mom, he doesn't want mom to arrive or whatever. He He's like, okay, fuck that. So he's going to, okay, that's perfectly fine. Okay, just call me and let me know something. Okay, same number? Yes, baby. Okay, I'll call you Sat morning. How long it take for you to get here? It may take two to two and half hour it depends okay you gonna be online tomorrow yes you getting offline no okay i'm online and almost i'm online almost evening <laughs> if it not raining or i'm working out of town all right what what you do question mark <laughs> i install cabinets and that's funny. So yeah, he he had lied about um, telling his mom that he was gonna go install some cabinets. That's that's what he fucking told his mom when he was trying to uh, when he was trying to do his fucking thing at the sting house. Ah, cool. It pays the bills. Yeah, dude. Nothing wrong with uh, being a carpenter. That's a good fucking job if you can do it. Baby, I can't stop looking at your pick. And weird face. Baby, you were so hot. Aw, thank you. Do you cheat on your BF? What the fuck? You're welcome. I mean, so why are you asking that? What would she say? Like, yeah, she's like, I don't give a shit about relationships. Like, the title doesn't mean anything. I'm living my life, motherfucker. <laughs> do you cheat on your BF? You're welcome. No, I would never do that. <laughs> cool. Me either on my GF. You want to see your man? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hi. What is it, love? Oh, did, was there some time that el that had elapsed between between them? No, not really. Okay. Hey, just random. Hey. Hey. Hi. What is it, love? Nothing. Just chatting with you. <laughs> She's like, I'm just fucking chilling, dude. Okay. Could you pick yourself with me? Oh, could you picture yourself with me with kids, baby? Jeez. Fuck, man, you haven't even met this person and you're already talking about living together and fucking being soulmates and kids. He's so desperate. The thirst is so real that he's willing to to settle with anybody. It doesn't matter. It's like human being, like, check. Like, that's all that it matters. As long as it's a human being female, he's willing to, like, fucking pledge his life. Cool. Smiley face. I never thought, uh, I never thought about kids. That's because she's a kid herself, dude. You fucking idiot. Yeah, she's a kid herself. What you though? What about you? Well, what you thought about, baby? I just never thought about having kids yet. Lol. Oh, okay. No, not yet. But it, but if it happens, it happens. Yeah. But I won't shoot come unless, but I won't shoot come in you unless you want me to. That's fucking disgusting, dude. Okay, I just don't want to get pregged now. I can't get pregged. I know. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, the hurt, that's that's got to be one of the fucking stupidest misspellings, this hurt. I just think of, like, fucking gigahertz. Uh, and then... Smiley face. Like, have, like, like, eyebrow smiley face. But I do want to be the only man you date. Okay. Me too. 
for you really you must have love at first sight what the fuck you must have love at first sight. you must have i've come into this but decoy uh, linabelle you must have love at first sight i demand love at first i need it kiss face uh funny face i love you love you you blushing baby yeah Ever since, ever since last night, I can't, oh my god, that's, that's like the fucking Joker. If you've seen Joker, um, there's a line where he says, he's writing in a notebook and he says, I hope my death makes more sense than my life, but he misspells sense, uh, C-E-N-T-S, like, and obviously it's like, um, sense that he's talking about is S-E-N-S-E, so, it's funny that now, uh, I think that immediately, I just think of Joker now. It's like ever since last night, like I think of, uh, they, I guess in Joker, they did it because they wanted to show that he had like slipped through the education system. Like he, like school wasn't for him. You know, he, he basically said, fuck school. And I guess maybe, maybe it's the same for him. This guy, obviously, um, he didn't really, he doesn't care about, about grammar. He doesn't care about spelling or anything. So he's probably not like a reader in his free time. That's, that's what I'm fucking saying. Cool. Me too. You smile every time you do? Yeah. Me me too. You ever felt like that about an ex before? No. <laughs> it's like, no, this is all for you. This is completely new and special. What about your mom and dad back when we tell them? If we say my age. It's just me and my mom. That's a strategic fucking, uh, that's a strategic angle. But how would she react? How would she act? How would she act? How would she act? That's fucking hilarious too. How would she act? He says, "How how would she act?" That's like fucking um that fucking movie Mars Attacks. Act 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 act. How would she act about me and you and my age? We can tell her you're like eighteen. He's twenty five. He had a fucking big ass fucking like a uh, beard too. He's a carpenter. He had like a Jesus beard, and um you wouldn't be able to say he was eighteen. Decoy. I guess. Okay. I want you, hottie. Kiss face. Me too. I'm gonna have to go soon. So she's like, dude, I'm over it. We've already, we've I've already got you fucking booked on uh one thirty, so I'm I'm kinda over the chit chat. Me too. And then once again he says, dude, you don't have to go anywhere. You need to stop fu- he's fronting. You need to stop acting like you're busier than you are, dude, because the decoy is gonna fucking see through that bullshit. Everyone sees through that, man. You're trying to act like, oh, yeah, I got places to be, too. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Smiley face. Can I sleep in bed? Can I sleep in your bed with you? Sat? Yeah. Okay. Night, night. I, I gotta go. I hope you don't get dressed. I hope you sleep nude. I, like, I hope I be, what the fuck? I hope you don't get dressed. I hope you sleep nude like I hope I be. Okay. Okay, me too. I love you. Good night. <laughs> bye bye, baby. Kiss, kiss. You there? Question mark. Where are you? And then I believe the rest, yeah, the remainder of the chat was contained on text messaging via his cell phone. So there we have it. That is the, um, the chat log, the reading and analysis of John Adam Daniels. He is a fucking loser. He has very little confidence, as we could see. He was completely desperate. Everything about this fucker just screams desperation. He is one of those individuals who, even if he wasn't a predator, it would probably be hard for him to find a partner. And then it's like, as a predator, like, you're basically fucked. Like, he is going to have such a difficult time finding anyone who would ever consider dating him. Hopefully, I hope that he has a hard time. I hope that there aren't too many people who would give him time of day. Um, this is a horrible piece of trash, and uh, I'm glad that he was sent to prison for like 10 years or some bullshit. He deserves all the bad things that have ever happened to him. All right, everyone, until next time.